Hello, this is Retro Workshop, and here is part two of my Minecraft Chinese Kingdom series. I have now added the top of the main tower, and now I have added some outlines for some lesser towers, and added a gravel path leading to each. Here is a shot of the entire tower and the surrounding area, with clouds turned on for scale. I created another bridge coming out of the second tower, of course leading to a larger tower. I also added a small pond with a stream coming out of the rock and there is a hidden room under that. Now the large tower is complete with a coned roof. I added some more water features and a water well. And this is where I am so far. I have almost completed the lesser towers. I will end on this nice picture I took when it was dark, raining and snowing, believe it or not. I also tried to frame most of the thing in shot, which I suppose I ought to call Tower Land or Tower Lands. You certainly can't say I did too much here. My idea was to make the towers into individual stores or storage towers for different kinds of blocks slash materials. Unclear about that at the moment. Of course, when the map is complete, I do plan on putting it on Planet Minecraft. So I will put some hidden chests throughout and also complete all the hidden rooms and so on. My plan is to create the structure itself and then do everything else such as the interior and collecting the items and resources and creating the mines all in survival mode. Anyway, more on that and the construction when it comes to it in the next few parts. That is all for this video. I have been Retro Workshop and you have been watching part 2 of my Minecraft Chinese Kingdom series. Thank you.